So wh why should terminology management be a key feature in your translation management system? So terminology management, taking a step back, is the ability to manage terms, their respective statuses, if they're published or not. And we can go infinitely deep into knowledge trees. Terminology management is a huge area in and of itself. But let's talk more abstractly as to why this is important. So if you're a newcomer to localization, uh, it may be news, but for most people in localization, there are two critical components in knowledge management in translation management systems, translation memories on one hand, and term bases or terminology management on, the, on another hand. Typically, the very least minimal requirement for a term base is standard, essentially a list of terms and source and the different respective targets. And during the translation process, translators aided by the software will be reminded of certain terms that are occurring in the source. So let's say you have the word cat in the source. When you're translating that, that's in the glossary as a respective term in any given language. The translator will be reminded of that somehow, right? It's going to be either as uh, just below their translation memory suggestion. Maybe it's going to be a specific pop-up, but somehow the translator is aided by the software, right? Now, the question is why management around this terminology is important. And I think to answer this question, we have to think about two different worlds. One, the pre-AI world and the post-AI world. In the pre-AI world, terminology management it was really important simply because it was important to know, um, for instance, who had approved a term, who had changed the term. It was important to know if there are any terms that were rejected, forbidden. But in a pre-AI world, the terminology was essentially the human's responsibility to implement, to remember, to try to follow, to infer things from. And the management of the terminology, again, super important for so many different levels, right? At a brand management perspective, for instance, maybe a term is very specific to a given brand. Maybe it shouldn't get translated. Maybe certain terms have specific impacts in specific cultures. Maybe there are SEO terms that need to be respected. So terminology is a structural block of language. And particularly in larger organizations, it becomes very important to be able to track and trace exactly why a given term is being used in detriment of others, right? If you think about it in an organization with hundreds or thousands of ten or tens of thousands of users, it's very important for those organizations to know exactly why a given term is being used, why it's not used, and what the ramifications of those decisions are. So terminology management ends up being a very important aspect in any given translation memory system. Now, when you talk about the post-AI world, it becomes even more important. Because in the post-AI world, as terms get tokenized and vectorized, they, be, they, they gain life. So in, in this post-AI world, um, through large language models, uh, a term can not only be that term that needs to be applied in that particular, particular segment or sentence, but it also carries a ton of linguistic inferences. For instance, maybe the term that's being used for a certain pronoun is a more um, formal term rather than a less formal term. A large language model can understand that the language is becoming more formal or less formal and make other linguistic inferences based on that. Let's say the term that's being used is more jargony or more complex or more simple, more direct. There are all these inferences that can be made by large language models and therefore the terminology carries a lot more linguistic weight than just text. So in a world that's gravitating from text and characters to knowledge and content, terminology becomes even more important because it acts as a text textual anchor. And the management features around that terminology are just as important because you need to know exactly the origin, the genesis of every single decision. You need to understand how different terms are linked to each other. Uh, different need to understand specific concepts, contexts, uh, per perhaps specific images that are linked to the term. So terminology management is basically a step into this depth, this entire universe of what it means to manage specific key terms in specific contexts for specific ways. Now, we, when we talk about context, for instance, that's also even more important because now you see, for instance, certain terms like a home, home page, for instance, uh, the idea of home can be the idea of the beginning, the origin of the site, and it could be a place where you live, right? So it's the same word, same idea, completely different concepts in different contexts. The terminology management, if you have good terminology management, it's going to be adequate, not only at being able to point out those differences, but if it's really, really good, it'll be able to actually suggest the right term in the right context. 
So terminology management is a central, pivotal aspect of knowledge management when it comes to language, and that's why it's so important in any given translation management system. And this is Gabriel. Hope you liked and enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe, and we'd love to know what you think about terminology management in the comments below. Thank you.